a few months ago I did a video on my HF antenna for this truck. Um, during that video somebody asked or one of the viewers asked about uh, this antenna mount on the corner of the truck. This antenna mount was specifically made to mount this six meter antenna on. It's an old California Highway Patrol antenna whip and it's stainless steel and I have a spring at the bottom in case I hit something it'll bend over. Um, this is a nice antenna mount. It works okay. It's been on here several years so it, it probably needs to be repainted. Um, I cannot recommend it for six meters though. Six meters in this location on this truck does not work well. Um, there's something about this location. There's a couple other guys that I know that have tried mounting antennas in this location for six meters and it just does not work. I don't know if it's something like maybe the distance from where it's mounted to the cab or something else about the location that doesn't work. Other location or other antennas like a 10 meter antenna works fine here. Um, so I'll show you some close-ups of this. It's just mounted uh, on a plate between the tailgate and the side of the bed here and it's made out of steel. I'll measure how thick it is and I'll show you some close-ups here in just a second. Okay, here's a view from the side. Um, one thing I would like you to see is there's a hole on the side here that I made so a screwdriver can go up through this and reach the feed point where the um, feed point wire attaches so you can get a screwdriver up there and tighten it down or loosen it up. From the back you can see that the tail light is not blocked at all because of the way it's made. I got one piece of steel um, cut off a piece and it's the one piece is folded around here like this and here's the other side piece. The folded piece is attached with four large screws and I have star washers behind here to make sure I have a good ground. And I cut off the corner here so that it's not a square corner where if you're doing something down on the ground and you lift up, you're not going to hit your head on a sharp corner there. And I have done a, quite a few experiments with this. And so the feed point I have still left with that experimental mount which is basically just uh, some banana plugs. So there's a banana plug for the ground and a banana plug for the feed point. I'm sure this, this affects the antenna somewhat but it can be easily disconnected and another antenna put on there. To give you an idea this is about four inches, four inches wide here and about four inches deep and the side mount here is about six and three quarter wide and about ten and a quarter high. The other thing that you should note here is it's hooked on with several bolts and I cut a couple holes, one for the, the tailgate hitch or latch and another one is for this screw here and this screw is the screw that you loosen up to take off the tail light on the other side to get to the light bulbs. Then also there's a a bonding strap that's been soldered onto the steel here and attaches down to the the body with a nut or a bolt and a uh, star washer behind that and the paint has been removed behind it to get a good ground. Let's uh, see how thick that metal is as well. It's about 85 thousandths on the thickness. If it was any thinner, it would be too thin. Thicker it might not fit, but thicker might be a little better. If, if you had your choice, I'd make it slightly thicker. Okay, there's one last shot. Regular ball mount is, is on here as well. 
there's several of these you can get to. There's ones that are real shiny, chrome looking, that are hollow. I mean, really hollow and thin metal. I would not recommend one of those. This one is more solid. And I've seen ones that are um, solid black also that are second hand from the um, Highway Patrol. Those would be okay. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. 73.